trade you know you said the hospitality industry was going through this issues because of this uh, attack and all that and when you started concentrating on the trade what was different in india how does the trade channel work in india as compared to the other countries that you worked with what is it that you found unique to india but you know india is um is a country of traders if you want you know uh, traditionally historically and literally every transaction in this country even to this day goes to one or the other trade participant that's just how it is um whether it's the carpenter who has his special dealer that he's buying his goods from or whether it's uh, the customer that wants to go to a nice showroom and look at you know things that that he or she want to buy so trade is always somehow involved you know um, even in in projects whereas um, if you go to other countries in the world you have a very clearly defined project channel where the the company would go directly to the project participant i.e. the owner or operator of something and um, propose solutions to them and ultimately sell them whereas here this would more often than not go through a middleman because the project has an architect the architect knows a dealer that he's been working with and feels comfortable with and so goes through the dealer to the brand to ultimately bring the products into the project so that is very different so when we um talk about how much business we have in the project market here it may appear small uh because we are not counting the trade participation True. right because that counts into trade True. you know but when i when i look at what kind of trade that was then i say well that was actually a project and so it counts you know towards the project business yeah. so that's um that's a very unique thing in india and um you don't really find that anywhere else so when you said that uh, the trade gets the project business only because of the comfort factor that the architect or anybody any other decision maker would have with the trader yes so you were wondering whether to put it into the business of trade or projects right yeah so i mean at the beginning we really didn't care it was business yeah because so right on to, you know that yes, was good yes. and uh, so no issues there but um uh, you know as you get bigger people are looking for classifications you know what does it belong to is this is it that so that that's be, the time you realize so they can put us into boxes right <laughs> so um and that's what we always try to explain to to head office in germany and say well project really is much bigger because a lot of it goes through trade and and explain that over the years the kind of portfolio which you built was there any thought to it or it was just the market requirement which made you you know increase your portfolio in diverse sectors like i understand bathrooms also which hapler was never into it i think the last 5 6 7 years ago you came into bathrooms so this this thought of increasing the portfolio comes from where is does the market drive it or what well it came, i think it came from that realization once we started with uh, uh, kitchens um where we started really only with a couple of products you know drawers and, and lift up fittings and hinges and so on that we really wanted to build a complete portfolio around that So today when you look at uh, uh we offer in kitchens we literally offer everything. So you start you start from uh, the fittings of course which are traditional but then we've gone into lighting we've gone into appliances we're doing the stone on the on the countertops. So everything uh is there. So you really only have to build the furniture around it and and, and your kitchen is done. So um we were very much driven towards providing a solution to our customers a complete solution that was the idea yes and then um the other portfolio that we always had was what we call door hardware or architectural hardware and uh, that's everything around the door whether that's sliding doors or whether it's uh, hinges or door closers or you know accessories around the door and we expanded uh, we we so extended that portfolio as well in, into a complete solution okay. yeah so that's how we have really expanded the portfolio and and things like um appliances uh, lighting and stone um came we don't really as synergetic components complementing what we already had oh. know, so so you know when we started with stone um our management in germany said have you now lost you know lost it completely hmm. we're a fittings company what are you doing with stone and we said yes but we also um 
a kitchen solutions company and stone is the worktop and there is a tremendous opportunity for us to bring a new innovative product to the market that will really change the way people look at it. So we brought stone, it is now one of our fastest growing and most successful uh, categories that we have in, in, our, in our overall uh, assortment. Um, then we brought appliances. Now appliances, again, company said, what are you doing now, appliances? And we said, yes, kitchen. You know, so that is Part missing. We, we're selling customers a kitchen solution and they say, do you not have appliances? I want to buy a hob or a chimney or an oven. And um, so we looked at the market and so, ooh, there is a big opportunity there because, you know, there is just companies at the bottom here that are selling cheap and cheerful things. And then you have companies at the top selling luxury things for a lot of money. True. And then guess what? There's nothing in the middle. True. And that's, that's the place that we wanted to occupy and we did. Oh. So that sweet spot in between where we are supplying very high quality but at an um, affordable price. So we call it affordable premium. Right. And that's basically how the Hafler Appliances range was built. Right. Yeah. And, and this was how many years ago? So that started really um, in 2014 properly, Listen. but we were experimenting prior to that um, so 2012, 13 uh, already. And now it's like set. Nothing is ever set, you know. I mean, if you're set, you're dead. You know, you keep, okay, you got to keep like moving. That. You got to keep moving. You know, um, innovation is so so important, uh, particularly when it comes to appliances, because uh, uh, we need to uh, constantly bring new features to the market, and, and customers uh, looking for exciting new uh, appliances uh, that they that they want to buy from us. And you know, the competition isn't sleeping; they're not playing dead, so they are doing their thing. And uh, we need to stay ahead if we want to, you know, occupy, you know, that position in the market.